Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Just last week, we did the discussion about the NHS in England and Wales banning the medication that gives puberty blockers to children. Quite right too. One does not want to create a whole generation of eunuchs simply to appease either trans housing parents who would rather have a trans child than a gay child. They see that maybe having a gay child is wrong, whereas having a trans child is somehow acceptable. And so rather than having a child that can go on and enjoy a full life and later on, should they wish, have children of their own, regardless of their sexuality, they would rather uh, sterilise their children and push them down a line for which they may be not suited. 97.5% of children who went through the Tavistock Clinic, for example, weren't actually trans. The self-ending rate of children who go through this, of course, is 20 times higher than the background rate. It goes to show that this isn't a physical problem, it is a mental problem, and that by doing it to children, you are basically committing a crime against humanity. And so England and Wales NHS said, no, enough's enough, we're not going to do it anymore. Scotland, however, is in thrall to the Greens and in thrall to the trans lobbies such as Stonewall and is too scared to do anything about it. Thankfully, Megan Gallagher of the Conservatives is prepared to do something, is prepared to stand up and is prepared to make the issue. Good on her. Let's take a look. So the SNP must stop prescription of puberty blockers to children instead of pandering to the Greens. And we know why they all like to have little boys to remain young and, you know, boyish uh, and become rather feminised. We all know why, don't we? Patrick Harvey, Ross Greer, many, many in the SNP, but especially the likes of Maggot Chapman. She likes to provide them. She is the Ghislaine uh, Maxwell of the Greens, I suspect. After the harmful medication was banned for under 18s in England, Scottish Conservative Deputy Leader Megan Gallagher questions whether the Scottish Government will finally do the right thing. No, no, no. They like a nice supply of young girly boys for, you know, the older man to thoroughly enjoy, allegedly. NHS England took a bold decision this week and banned the prescription of puberty blockers to children under the age of 18. She said, I've been raising this issue for years as there is little to no evidence to prove this medication is safe for children and does not result in life-altering consequences. In fact, it does. Often life-ending consequences. And certainly when you are sterilising children on an industrial scale, this is a crime. If not one that's a crime against the law of the land, then certainly a crime against morals and ethics and decency. It is a crime that is, put, uh, is pushed out by degenerates who want to do this to children on this kind of scale. You have to ask why they're so desperate for these children to have their lives destroyed, just to pander for their own desires. The Interim Cash Review, an investigation into gender clinics in England, shone a light on gender dysphoria in children. And many critics are waiting for this report to be published in full. Despite having the Sandiford Clinic in Scotland, the Scottish Government has refused to carry out its own review. Of course it won't. It dared. It knows if it carried out a full review in the light of the CAS report, it would be unlikely to be any different. And it would show that the massive amount of children being pushed into the Sandiford Clinic are not gender dysphoric. They are depressed, uh, homosexual, they are grieving, they are autistic, they're on the spectrum. That's what the cash report, report found. Of all the thousands, and we mean many thousands of children pushed through Tavistock, 97.5% were not suitable, but they were done anyway. And now the backlash begins, the reversal begins. And they're trying to keep this deadly, deadly quiet. It's gonna be the biggest scandal the NHS has ever had. It's gonna cost billions in England. And do you think the NHS in Scotland can afford it when this all comes out there? That is why they're not having the review. That is why they dare not have the review, because the SNP has been complicit in destroying children, in the mass sterilisation of children. And we know also it's predominantly white children. It's all part of the white genocide. Now, it doesn't mean that they shouldn't put safeguards in place, she says, until we know more about the potential harms of puberty blockers. 
She's previously asked if the First Minister would pause the prescription of these drugs, but the SNP have done nothing to take the issue seriously. She assumes they must be too busy pandering to the Green partners. And you get the likes of Harvey sitting there, <laughs> like Uriah Heep, isn't he? Looking forward to all the little boys being gendered up just for him. Oh, look, you're not growing up. You're not developing hairy faces and dropping your Adam's apple. No, you're just keeping that little boyish body. Ross Greer, much the same. Mind you, Ross Greer probably hasn't had his balls drop either by the look of him. He's not the manliest of men, is he? Maybe he was um, on those materials earlier. Who knows? He just strike you as that sort, doesn't he? There isn't much there. He still lives with mummy. Gets bitty, you know. Anyway, um, she says that uh, she's hoping that the NHS in Scotland will do the same. But I'm just going to tell you now, they're probably not going to, Megan. Keep fighting the good fight because no one else is protecting the children in Scotland. And when you've got an SNP government still pushing this the degenerate ideology demanding that they can just change their gender at a whim and you are backed up by an SNP that's filled with what I can only assume are people who are very very interested in a happy good time with children one only has to look at them especially the Chapman creature you're like Ugh, disgusting shitty things that crawl out from under moist slabs of stone after the rain calls isn't it that's what these people are. They're insects. They're groveling insects. Horrible. And yet they're the ones pushing for the, uh, the this this criminal enterprise on children on a grand scale. Makes you wonder why. But we know they've always been interested in children. Always. Coming up. So I'm going to just say well done, Megan. It's nice to see someone standing up for what is right, for what is moral, for what is ethical. If a few more can join you, and from all parties. I mean, not just make this a Tory thing. Make this an all-party thing. Make this a humanitarian thing. Make it free from party politics and make it purely for the benefit of the children of Scotland and for what is right, moral, and, and, and not this degenerate belief system, this degenerate ideology that children must be sexualised at a very young age and be used for the pleasuring of people like Maggot Chapman, Harvey... Greer and all the rest of them you know all the toucher upper of other people's children you know you've got your um, your Jordan up in um, Perth not Perthshire in Lanarkshire you know he's going to be facing it you've got Kerr who's currently in prison you've got Grady who does like a good little fondle you know there's lots of them lots of them they all seem to be in the same party don't they makes you wonder people still vote for them we all know what the P stands for. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I will speak to you later. Bye.